What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, in this simple video, I am going to walk you through setting up your email forwarding, a custom domain that you purchased through GoDaddy, um, and how you set up the actual forwarding so you can create an email address out of it. Um, so many people, you guys, I'm telling you, man, I've been, I've been focusing on business owners and consulting and building my agency since 2016. I've literally looked at thousands of pages um, on social media from business owners, whatever business, any business, like it could be any bit, any, any small business, any small to medium sized business owner that has any type of social media presence. I've seen thousands of pages. Okay. And there's certain things that I look at and there's, there's certain things that I look for. And, 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 I don't think it gets, gets any more basic than your freaking email address. Like the email that you have listed on social media, I don't think it gets any more basic than that. So many, so many, I'm telling you, man, 99%, damn near 99%. And I'm willing to bet that 99% of you guys that are watching this video right now, go to your social media platforms, whether it's your Facebook, whether it's your Twitter, whether it's your LinkedIn or, or Instagram, the email address that you have listed, okay, now keep it real, okay, keep it real with me. The email that you have listed publicly, is it a Gmail? Is it a Yahoo? Is it one of these free accounts? I'm willing to bet it is, man. 99%, 99%. Watch, in fact, you know what? Let's just do a quick little test. Let's just look on Instagram. Let's look on Instagram real quick. And let me just look at random people on Instagram. Let's say, let's go after, I don't know, let's go after, actually, you know what, let me just, let me just look at everyone else who I don't know. Let's just pick out some people that I don't know. And let's see if anyone, any of them are business owners. Let's see, let's go to, um, other than being, a, other than being a freaking celebrity, I'm talking about like a, like a normal person. Like, let's see if I can, um, shit, these are all celebrities. You guys obviously can tell who I'm following, right? Um, this guy, I don't know if that's probably, a, uh, let me see. Um, let's just click on, let's click on this chick. She's probably not a celebrity, but she's, oh, the top T. Okay, so this is an actual brand. Let's see. 122 followers, freaking crushing it, right? Crushing it. Let's see if I can find out. Um, okay, so maybe on desktop, it's a little different. Maybe on desktop, I can't see. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't see their their contact information other than other than right here. What's right here? Let's go to Facebook real quick. Let's go to Facebook, or even let's go to LinkedIn. Let's go to LinkedIn. That's where all the professionals are, right? Let's look at LinkedIn and let's look let's look at some accounts because this is crazy. This is super basic, and I'm telling you, man, it's like, dude, <clears throat> everyone misses it. So all I want to do is help you guys stand out a little bit more with your actual branding. Let's look at Claudia. Okay, so I go to Claudia. She looks like a professional. Okay, real estate agent. I go to contact info and she has her Yahoo account. Look at how sloppy this looks, man. First of all, her LinkedIn isn't customized. Claudia.diaz.55ab6b17. Her website, agentdiaz1.com. Her personal website, well, she has two of them, but the other one is Sunny. Sunny. What the? Sunny N or Sunny San? I'm on my bad. It's Sunny. It's Sunny San Diego Properties.com. Great website, but what's up with the inconsistency? Her email, her Twitter, Agent D is one. Okay, at least she's matching it with her actual dot com up here. But this Sunny San Diego Properties and this other link. But I mean, let's just look at the email. I'm telling you, man, 99% of you guys that are watching this video. I'll go to your social media platforms and you guys have some random Yahoo or Gmail account and whatever name you have set up, it's not even matching your .com. It's not even matching your other links. It just looks horrible, right? Um, and, and that goes for every business, man. 99% of small business owners. And, and, and let's just, and this has really nothing to do with how successful one is like 
you could be super successful. I'm not talking about that. And, 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 and by the way, that's offline. On social media, online, no one knows you. All we know of is your brand. All we know of is what you're putting out, right? And so I'm here to tell you that 99% of you guys have this type of free email set up. I want to help you get a, your, your, your professional looking. Like, for example, she has, she has this, this, this website, agentdiaz1.com. She should, she should also have Claudia at agentdiaz1.com. That's what I'm talking about, okay? That's what this whole video is all about. It's setting up your email forwarding, customizing this name, setting up a professional email, and listing that email all over social media. Forget about the Yahoo one. We need, we need Claudia at agentdiaz1.com. We need that email to be listed everywhere, okay, on social media. So here's what you're going to do first. You're going to, if you don't have a .com, a lot of you guys already have a .com, but if you don't, here's just a cool little way to get your, first, your next .com for a dollar for the first year. Come to Google and type in cheap domains cheap domains or cheap domain names and you'll see the ad at the top make sure it says ad and you'll be able to get this first domain um for the first year you'll be able to get it for a buck after that it's normal price 11.99 or 12 bucks or whatever it is that's on the second year but the first year you'll get it for for 99 cents that's where you have to get get it get it first and i always get it through godaddy i've been buying literally i've been buying domains through godaddy for the past 20 25 years i am not joking i started buying domain names early I've had hundreds of domain names. Um, I don't have them all now because I never renewed a lot of them. Um, but I've bought hundreds of domains through GoDaddy. So GoDaddy is all I know. GoDaddy is all, I, all I've ever used. Um, and so there's a little hack where you can get the first one or the first year for a buck. And then after you get that domain, here's what you're going to do. So I'll list, you're going to log into GoDaddy and I'm going to list these records um, in the description so you guys can just simply copy and paste them. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to log into GoDaddy and we're going to simply go to our name right here and we're going to come down to my products. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to make sure I, I get the correct record. So here's what we do. When you come into any domain, let, let, like, let me show you what, what I mean by records. When you come into any domain, you have this, this DNS settings, you have these, um, the DNS management. And these are, these are all different records that are tied to this domain, right? A lot of these records, I don't even know what the hell they're for. It's all, you know, for GoDaddy. But what I do know is this record right here. The MX record, the SM, SMT, SMTP dot, and then this one down here, mouse store one. These are two MX records. When you, when you set up the domain for the first time, you're not going to have those, those records in there. In fact, you're, a lot of you that have domains and they're not using email forwarding, you don't have those records there either. You have to put those records in there in order to, to set up the, the email forwarding. And again, you're, you're only going to put them in there if you're setting up email forwarding. If you never set up email forwarding, most likely you don't have those records in there. So, um, so, 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 um, 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 um. What I want you to do is I want you to be able to, to, to set these records up, and I'm going to set up a whole new one as well so I can walk you through it. But all of my emails, all of my .coms, in fact, let me show you. So let's go back to, let's go back to my products. Click on my products, and then I'm going to show you where all those emails are at. So once I'm in my products, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to, in fact, let me open up another window another tab. So we're going to come down once you're in my products. Okay. So you click on, you click on your name up here, you click on my products, and that's going to bring you to this page right here. Okay. Now what we do not want to do is we don't want to set up, um, um, an email through the GoDaddy 360. I think it's called 360, something, something like that. I don't want to have to pay for an email provider. That's not what I want to do. That's not what I'm setting up here. I'm not setting up a whole new account with GoDaddy so I can I can I can run my emails through the GoDaddy server because there is a fee for that. I don't want that. I just want simple email forwarding. That's all I need. And that's all I've ever done for all of my domains. So when you come over here, you click on workspace email, manage all. And these are all the different emails that I have set up. So all my domains all my domains are all, well, not all of them, not all of them, but a lot of them, the ones that I actually really, really actively use are all tied to my name. They're all tied to a professional looking email. So I own Cantero Realty Group, 
Blueprint.com, I also created the email. I own Digital Agency Blueprint. I also created the email. Inspired Digital, Inspired Solar, FBI it's for Beginners. So when you can put out an email like this, right, whether it's in your anywhere online, whether it's on your business cards, a lot of you guys, man, that have business cards, dude, you have John39 at Gmail and you're a plumber and it's on your business card. It's like, dude, you know how stupid that looks? Like, it just looks retarded. And again, man, social media, it's, it's, this is basic stuff. This is just basic branding. And I'm just saying that the name and, and being able to match, match everything, it just goes a long way. It, it makes your brand look a little bit more professional, um, especially in this case when you can set up a good, a good looking email. Okay. And, and you can set it up whatever. It could be support. It could be your name. It could be, you could set up multiple ones for multiple people you know, in your office, whatever you got going on, you can, you can, you can really create some custom emails to really make your brand stand out. Okay. So these are different emails that I have, that I have active, that I use a lot. Um, and I, and I have them set up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab, I'm going to, I'm going to set up another one. I'm going to set up another one. And so I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to come back to, um, my pro actually, I could have went my managed domains, but I'll go my products. Um, give me one second then give me one second you guys just gotta text my wife real quick <clears throat> okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab those records from an existing email. So I have this one up, this one set up. The one I'm going to be setting up now is, um, is, um, 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 let's see. I'm going to set up inspired digital. That's the one that I'm going to set up. Um, actually, you know what inspired media? I might go inspired media. Let me see. Actually, no, I'm going to go inspired digital. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go inspired digital. I'm gonna use it for that one. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab that record from an existing domain that I that I already have set up. Um and I'm gonna and here's the domain, here's the records right here. So I'm gonna leave these records right below. Okay, so these records, you need to set up two of them. It's this top one right here. And it's these ones down here, this one down here. Okay, so these two, you'll see this right below in the description and you'll have to, um, you know, set it up the way I'm about to show you. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's go to back to the, back to the workspace email and we're gonna simply click on create forward. And these two accounts that I'm setting up just to really keep it real with you guys, one's gonna be for Amazon because I'm, a, I'm gonna set up a whole new Amazon associates account um, under a whole different email. Um, because in 2020, I'm going to be doing a lot of not, not hardcore affiliate marketing with Amazon at all, because you heard me talk shit on my previous videos where the commission so damn small, it's like not even worth it, but I'm going to be reading a lot of books in 2020, 2020. I just want to become a bookworm. I've already started right now. I just finished Think and Grow Rich. And then this is, this is um, um, the book that I'm reading right now. So what I'm trying to do is knock out two books a month. One book a week is a lot. Um, but I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do two books a month. Okay. So I just knocked out in the month of December of 2019. I just knocked out Think and Grow Rich, right? Old school book, Think and Grow Rich. That book is freaking insanely amazing. I've had it for, for years. I've had that book on my bookshelf for probably the last 10 years, 10 years for sure. And, and, and I, I would thumb through it here and there and I would freaking, and I would read chapter here or chapter there, but I've never really sat down and read the whole damn thing. And that's what I did in December. So I read Think and Grow Rich. And then now this one right here, The Outliers by Malcolm uh, Gladwell. This book is absolutely insane. For any of you guys that are, that are, that are, that are, that feel like you want to give up, for any of you guys that feel that it's taking forever for you to succeed, for, for those of you that are feeling that, that, that you're just discouraged and you're like, shit, is this business ever going to take off? Or is, is, is my school ever going to freaking, am I going to ever succeed? Like for any of you that are feeling that way, you got to read that book, man. The whole 10,000 hours is, is absolutely insane. That book will change your life and put things in perspective on patience, on patience and working hard. Like that's what that book is about, man. So I'm really enjoying that book in the month of December. 
But come January, I want to be on Amazon Prime because I want to be getting the audio audiobooks and I'm be, and I'm going to be ordering a book every month. So I'm buying a book. I like I like physical copies. I like to put that book on my shelf and you know save it for my kids. So I'm gonna be buying a lot of books in 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 2020. So I'm gonna become an associate, Amazon associate, so I can start talking about these books and start sharing the link. So long story short, I'm setting up a whole separate email for my Amazon. And I'm going to be setting up also Vimeo. Vimeo is where I'll be hosting a lot of my videos that I'm going to be putting together for training courses. You can host videos on Kartra, but when you have so many, you want to host them also on a, on a, on a second, second provider, a second platform. So I'm going to be setting up a Vimeo account um, as well. So right now, I'll just show you my, my, my email that I'm going to set up for Amazon, and this is how I'm going to do it. So First, I have to, first, you know what, let's do this first. Let's set up the record. Let's go in here and set up the record first. Let's go back and let's go to domains. Let's go to the actual domain and let's set the record first and then I'll set up the forwarding. Okay, so let's do it with, um, we're going to do it with Inspired Digital. You like that right there, you guys? You like these numbers? I bought this for freaking 99 cents. Now it's valued at 946. I bought this other one, Inspired Media, for 99 cents. Now it's valued at 1100. This other one, Impact and Income. If any of you guys want to buy it, man, put in an offer. It's valued at 1700. Bought that shit for a dollar, right? Pretty cool, huh? Um, but I'm going to be using, let's use, um, you know what? I'm actually going to use. Mm. let's set up i'm gonna set up i'm gonna set up this one i'm gonna set up this one this will be for my vimeo i'm gonna set up inspired digital tv.com which if you go to that site it subscribes you to my youtube channel so that's that, that's what i use this domain for so i'm gonna open up the domain and then i'm gonna come down here and i'm gonna go to manage dns Okay, so now I'll be in the records. So right now, you don't see any MX, right? There's no MX records, not like this one over here. This one is for Digital Agency Blueprint. I already have my email forwarding set up for this one, so that's why you see the MX records. But over here, this is a brand-new domain, Inspired Digital TV, brand-new domain, and there's no MX records. So in order for me to create an email forwarding, I have to set up the MX records. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on Add. And then I'm going to select the type. The type is going to be MX. And then what I want to do is I'm going to simply model um, this one over here. So I'm going to come over here. This is what I'm going to have to paste. But what I want to do also is I want to open it up. So I click on the pencil and I'm going to open it up because this is what I want right here. Okay. This is what I want right here. So I'm going to copy, I'm going to copy that. The host is the at sign. So let's go, let's put in that at sign. The host is the at sign. The points to the points to is that one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna point it to that right there. I just simply paste it in and then priority is zero. So I'm gonna just simply hit this drop down. There goes the zero. Okay, and then leave it at one hour and hit save. That's the first MX record. Okay, so now it's right there. Now I'm gonna add the second one. And the second one, so let's cancel out that first one. Let's go to the second one. This is the second one. Let's open up that. The host is at. So we're going to do MX again. The host is at. The host is at. And then it points to this one right here. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to point it to that. And then the priority will be zero. And then be, the TTL is one hour. So these two right here, I just confirmed with GoDaddy. I wanted to make sure that, that these records are standard for everyone um, because I don't want to do this tutorial and you guys go and paste that shit in and it's completely different for you guys. It's the same. So with your, as long as you're setting up GoDaddy, this is exactly how you're going to do it. And this is, these are the two MX records that you're going to use. Okay, so now... Let's simply make sure we don't got to save anything else. Okay, so now, now we have the MX records in, in place, right? So now we can go set up the actual forwarding. So let's go, let's cancel this out. 
and let's come back up here to products. There's my products. And then I'm going to come over here down to the bottom and I'm going to, and I'm going to click on, um, work. Yeah. Workspace email. So it's right here. Come down here, click on workspace email, click on manage all. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the forward. Okay. So I'm going to create it right there. And then this one is going to be, um, this is going to be for my Vimeo. So this is going to be support at inspired digital tv.com that's going to be the email that i use to set up my new account so whether you're setting up accounts or whether you're just looking to brand yourself you guys this is what you want to do man it'd be support or it could be your name but leverage and use your domain that domain that's your brand that is your company name Create emails around it, okay? Create emails around it. Put that email on your business card. When you could put that email on your business card next to your actual .com, which happens to be the same, dude, it just looks better, right? It looks better. It allows your audience and your followers and your customers and your clients to remember you under that one name. Super powerful and super basic. So here's what I'm gonna do. Support at Inspired Digital TV. That is going to be, uh, um, um, forwarding to, let's see, where do I want to forward that to? I'll forward it to, I'll forward it to, um, inspire. And, and, and so now, now what you can do your Yahoo or your Gmail, that's where we're forwarding it to. Okay. So I'm not forwarding this to, you know, um, David at inspired digital TV.com. No, I'm not forwarding it to my custom domain. I'm forwarding it to my actual Gmail because all these are Gmails. That's why I, if you don't set it up this way, you're going to have to go through GoDaddy and set up a whole new email platform and you're going to have to pay every month for that. I'm showing you a way where you don't have to pay every month. Just set up simple d email forwarding. That's all you got to do. So this one's going to be e going to be forwarded to my actual um, um, Gmail, which is inspired digital at Gmail. Okay. Inspired digital at Gmail and through the Gmail settings, you can also set it up where when you reply, it's a certain email. So that way, when, when, when people email support at inspireddigitaltv.com, I could, which I don't really care to do, but I could go into my inspired digital Gmail and change the settings. So when I reply, it replies under Inspired Digital TV. It replies as support at Inspired Digital TV. But I don't care to go that extra step. I don't need to. I'm just going to be using this specific email to set up the account. And, and everything for that account will be tied to that email. So, But if you wanted to go a step further, you can for sure do that as well. That way, you know, people are, are, that are emailing support in, at InspiredDigitalTV.com, when you reply, they're not getting some other random, you know, name or whatever it could be it could match the same if you want it if you want you can set that up through the settings through gmail for sure but i'm going to forward it to that email right there right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply use it under this domain and then i'm going to create okay so that plan you got to make sure you have that plan in order and if you don't see a plan right there that's when you're you're gonna have to get GoDaddy on the line get GoDaddy on the line and say hey man i'm trying to set up this 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 email forwarding don't let them sell you on a monthly email plan. You don't need that. Just simply tell them, Hey man, I'm just looking to set up my email forwarding. I have a Gmail. I want to set up these dot coms that I currently have, but for some reason under the plan, I don't see what I can click on. So make sure you see something right here. Okay. And again, if you don't see that, call them, but I click on create. Now we got support at inspired digital tv.com. So let's go to a random email and let's just Let's email that name. So let's go to, let me just open up an old email account. So I'll email, email it from this account. This is an account right here, Cantero Inc. at Gmail. So I'm going to email it from here. Okay, so let's go, let's go and, and, and title this. Let's, Go support at inspireddigitaltv.com. And the subject is going to be, I love my YouTube fam. Bam. Support. 
support. Okay, so support at inspireddigitaltv.com. I love my YouTube fam, and let's test it, okay? So let's send that, and then let's open up my other email where it's actually forwarding to inspireddigital at gmail.com. Let's open up that one, and let's see if it's there. Okay, so we got some forms filled out, got some leads coming in. Okay, so let's give it a second here. Let's delete that. Okay, it's taking a little longer. Okay, so here we go. So let's refresh this and let's see if that email comes in. Bam. There it is there, you guys, real time. I love my YouTube fam. And that's the email that just came in right now, 1243. What time is it right now? 1243. So that's how you set up email forwarding, you guys. And so when I click on it, when I click on it, this is where it was, it was emailed to. So support at inspireddigitaltv.com. Okay, so that's how you guys do it, man. Set up your email forwarding, step up your basic branding game, and take your business to the next level. All right, guys, so I appreciate your time. Subscribe if you haven't already, man. Hit the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. I'll provide these two MX records in the description. Step your game up. I'll see you in the next video. Over now.